Hey, how you doing today? My name is Relly and thank you so much for stopping by. Today we are jumping back into Hollow Knight and today I want to show you where to find all of the different shade gates and what they are hiding. So the first thing we're going to do is start off from the hidden station, uh, which is down near the abyss. And we're going to head all the way to the left because that's kind of where everything is from the hidden station. So here we are at the ancient basin and to show you where we are on a map, we are here. Uh, so just to the left of the palace grounds, we're going to drop all the way down and then head over to the right. And when I say down, we're going to be going down into the abyss. Uh, this is super late game stuff. In order to get these uh, shade gates opened up, uh, you need to have the king's brand, which means that you probably need double jump. Uh, you're probably going to have a uh, crystal heart and desolate dive um, and all, all that kind of good stuff. Um, more than likely, you've got the dream nail and i don't know you probably don't need to have the awoken dream nail to be able to get this stuff done but you have a lot of other stuff okay so we're gonna head all the way to the right now that we have dropped all the way down into the abyss and as you can see the the black goo here is not trying to attack me because i already have uh the void heart charm if you don't know what that is again more end game stuff we're kind of is that spoiling to let you know that that's a thing anyway if you were coming here for the very first time you'd have to climb up to the top of the the lighthouse and head over to the right um because this is this is essentially where we're going to end up when you uh when you go to get uh this dash the shade cloak um so normally you head over to the right to be able to get the shade cloak right so so just to give you an idea of where we are this is where you get the shade cloak but if you head over to the left and come back over here there's a light right here and if you climb up ooh, secret and if you dash through here this is where you are gonna find a uh, hunter's journal entry and just by reading that you get the void tendrils entry all right simple enough that's the first one so the second shade gate is going to be in everyone's favorite place and that is down in deep nest and so i'm going to be starting off at the tram right here and so this is the lower tram near deep nest right and so even if you don't have the tram pass uh this is just a uh a location to let you know where i'm at so we're going to make our way up into the left of this room. And there is a way to go down right here. And again, here we are on the map. If we go to the top left of this room, just kind of straight up from where I'm at now, that is where you're going to get to a mask shard, if I remember correctly. And then if you head over to the left, that is where you're going to get to the, oh, the sauna. Is that what you call it? I always forget what it's called. It's a place where you can uh, go, go relax. Um, but if we make our way down, I believe if we hug this right wall, here we go. Here is the shade gate. And what this is going to do is this is going to get us to, uh, oh, what is it called? This is going to get us to a charm. And it's a very good charm. And I will show you what it is here in just a second. And so pretty much you need to have, you need to be able to get through there to be able to get to here right oh I've already gotten it this right here is where you would get sharp shadow and so sharp shadow is a charm where when you have it equipped right here it contains a forbidden spell that transforms shadow into deadly weapons when using a shadow dash the bearer's body will sharpen and damage enemies. So this is a really cool charm. I highly suggest you get it. Um, it is very, very useful for tons of boss fights, and I use it a ton when I'm in God Home. Uh, using, I use it for the Pantheons a, a lot. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and check out the next one. All right, so we are starting here over at the King's Station, which I feel like is kind of a hub of the game. And we're going to make our way down into the right um, over this way. So this is going to be our third shade gate out of a total of six. So there we go. 
And so this one is going to lead us to a, a boss fight. And it's one that I'm sure a lot of people uh, don't enjoy very much, at least not later on once we get in deeper into the Pantheon. So it could be a little bit of a tougher boss fight. Um, so here we are, we're in Kingdom's Edge now. We're gonna head over to the right a little bit further and then we're gonna go up and to the right. Ooh. And you gotta watch out for, for these guys, you know, everyone's favorite. Right, so once we make our way here, we'll make our way up, and again, here I am on the map, and we're gonna head over to the right, and just like that, Shade Gate. Oh, look at this! I actually had a had a portal set there, a Dream Gate, and so right here is where you get the fight Markov, and so I will leave that to you to go ahead and get that fight complete. I believe in you. You'll get it. It's 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 not that bad. I mean. You know. All right. So the fourth shade gate is near the Queen's Garden Station, and so what we're gonna do is make our way up and around. And unfortunately, I haven't uh, I haven't discovered too much of the map on the save game file, but I'll show you. Don't you worry. We're gonna get there together. Uh, this one, it, it's a little bit harder to get to the stag station. So by the time you get to the stag station, you're usually doing pretty good. So once we make our way up to the top here, we're going to make our way over to the right. And so right here, you got a little switch. Makes it easier to get back through. And once you make your way around, this is a very difficult area to do with sharp shadow. I highly suggest you don't do this area with sharp shadow just because i feel like all these little platforms are made specifically to be able to do with the regular dash and not sharp shadow and so it will it will throw a lot of people off it threw me off a lot uh, it's easier to do all this platforming uh without sharp shadow and then leave yourself a dream gate before you get to the end so here you go here's the shade gate and what you're going to find is at the end of all this is another boss fight. And this boss fight is going to be required to be able to talk to an NPC known as the White Lady, who is then going to give you uh, one half of the King's Soul Charm. So right here, here we are on the map. I'm sorry. It's, I hope that you followed along on that one. After you pass the Shade Gate, you're pretty much there. Um, this is where you want to leave your dream gate because as soon as you jump up, you start the boss fight. Once the boss fight is complete, you can head over to the left and then that's what's going to get you over to the white lady, um, for one half of the King's soul charm. And so that's again, super end game stuff. And that's what you do after typically you do that after you've beaten the game once. So there you go. Let's go ahead and check out the next one. The fifth shade gate is actually going to be in the Fog Canyon, but the quickest way to get to this area of the Fog Canyon is from here in the Fungal Waste. So here I am. I'm at the Leg Eater. Pretty, pretty easier, easier area to get to. And once you get Ishma's Tear, Isma's Tear? I always say Ish, but I think it's Is. People get very upset at me for saying that wrong. I'm sorry. Um, so we're going to use this to get around. We can uh, down strike, pogo these uh, purple mushrooms, which I'm sure you figured out if you've made it this far. Oh, there we go. And we're gonna make our way over to the left. So here we are over in the fog canyon and we're gonna make our way down into the left. And so essentially we're gonna make our way over to the area where we would normally find uh, cornifer. Uh, so this room is where we would get a, uh, what do you call it? Uh, a charm notch. So we don't want to be here. That's the wrong one. We're going to, we're going to keep going down. And I think it's this one to the left. And is this it? Am I in the right spot? I feel like it's so easy to find the wrong spot. It's so easy to find the right spot. No, I'm not. Oh. Nope. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. I am in the right spot. So here we go. Here's we're, we're one room above the teacher's archives and this is where you'd find Cornifer. So if you come up here, 
I'm almost dead. I should probably heal just a little bit. Uh, make our way over this way. This is where you'd find Cornifer. Right there. So if you went the way that I showed you, you don't really need uh, to have the Shadow Dash. This just blocks uh, you from going from one side of the Fog Canyon to the other. That's literally all it really does. There's, it doesn't really prevent you from getting anything. It is just one way to go ahead and get uh, Cornifer. If we just keep going and press on to the left, the last Shade Gate is actually in the Fog Canyon, kind of close to where we're at. Let me see where we're at on the map. So we need to go down and to the left just a little bit. Right here. Ooh, gotta watch out for these things. I, ah, I don't like them at all. They get me every time. Sometimes it's hard to just be patient. There we go. So again, here we are on the map. And so essentially this shade gate is going to block the entrance right down here to the Queen's Gardens. Right there. That's it. It's it. Just like that. So here we have the Queen's Gardens. So if you, I think if we try to come up from the right, uh, we're blocked by, oh, we can if you came from the Queen's Garden side, you're you're able to open up this switch. But if you came from the Fog Canyon side first, we're not able to get into the Queen's Gardens. So what's nice is that if you did get if you did come from this way ooh, and you head over here, I think this is probably one of the fastest ways to get over to the stag station. If I remember correctly, yeah, we come over this way. And then, just like that, you head straight down and you'd be right back to where we were earlier at the stag station. Look at that, we just came full circle, my friends. So, there we go. Uh, be sure to stop by every Tuesday, 8.30 Pacific Standard Time. I go live and also, I'm... I'm out here just waiting for Silk Song like everyone else, so please be sure to subscribe. My name is Relia. Let me know if this video helped you out, and I'll talk to you again more real soon. Thank you very much. Bye.